I think everyone has joined now. Welcome to the Golden Software Product Overview Webinar. My name is Cassie and I'm the Technical Support Representative at Golden Software. We frequently receive questions about which product a user wants. The answer to this question depends on the data and the end result. For this webinar, I'm going to highlight the main features in the six Golden Software products and the types of data that each uses. The order of the products is going to be Surfer, Grapher, Boxer, Digger, Map Viewer, and then Strider. After I've finished discussing the products, I'll stop for a few minutes to answer any questions. Feel free to send your questions anytime to the webinar host via the questions function. The questions box is on the webinar control panel. Type in your question and it will be sent to the webinar host, who will then forward it to me. If your control panel is minimized, click the view menu and uncheck auto hide the control panel or hide the control panel. This will also be recorded. So after the webinar is finished, the video will be available on our website at goldensoftware.com. Okay, let's begin now. The first program we're going to discuss is Surfer. Surfer specializes in contouring and gridding. Surfer will interpret XYZ data, an XYZ data file to generate a grid. There are 12 different interpolation methods to choose from, including Kriging, Natural Neighbor, Minimum Curvature, and Data Metrics. The gridding can be done in a linear or logarithmic manner. The linear gridding will use the Z values in the worksheet to create a grid file. The logarithmic option will choose will use the log base 10 value of the Z value in gridding. The logarithmic option is often used for data that changes over a small area or when the maximum and minimum value occurs close together. A fault or break line can also be included when interpolating the data so that the resulting grid is consistent with the surface. The first map type is a contour map. A contour map is a 2D representation of a 3D data. The first two dimensions are the x, y, z coordinates and the third the z value, which is represented by lines of equal value. A fill can be applied to a contour map so that the colors represent different z ranges and are noted in the color scale. There are two kinds of vector maps surfer can produce. The first is a one grid vector map, which will derive direction and magnitude from one grid file. The arrows will point in the downward direction, and the length will represent the magnitude and steepness of a slope. The two grid vector map will use two separate grids to determine the vector direction and magnitude. One grid will consist of x component and the other the y component. The watershed map in Surfer will slope the grid into different basins that represent areas that drain water into a stream. The watershed map can overlay on a 3D surface or other map type so the areas appear to be more three-dimensional. Next, the image map represents areas of a different color. The colors are automatically blended, which will produce a smooth color gradation over the map. Similarly, the shaded relief map will use color to indicate the orientation of the surface relative to a user-defined light source direction. This is useful when wanting to create a map that has the effect of the sun shining on the surface. The portions that face the sun will appear lighter while the others appear darker. Surfer can produce two types of 3D maps, a surface and a wireframe. A surface will appear as a smoother surface with a height corresponding to the Z value of the grid file. The wireframe will connect the Z values with lines of constant X and Y values. The intersection of the lines occur at each grid node with the height being proportional to the Z value in the grid file. The number of columns and rows in the grid file will determine the number of X and Y lines drawn. The other maps that Surfer can create are base maps, post maps, and class post maps. A base map is often used to display an aerial or background image behind a contour map or another map type. A post map will plot the X, Y points of a data file on a map, such as well locations. A class post map is similar in that it will plot x and y points on the data file, but it will also use another column, the z value, to categorize the points into different classes. Each class can then be assigned a unique symbol or color to represent the data. Surfer offers coordinate support and projection support. Maps can be converted from one projection to another, such as UTM coordinates to latitude and longitude coordinates. It is even possible to find different map layers with different coordinate systems and then convert them all to a single coordinate system. In addition, data in a worksheet can be used to can be also be projected to a new target coordinate system. 
Surfer has the ability to automatically generate profile of a map to create a cross section of the surface. The profile will display a distance traveled on the x axis and the elevation on the y axis. This can be done automatically by clicking the desired points to be included. Another feature of Surfer is the worksheet. This will allow you to create and manipulate data directly inside. Surfer has a variety of supported file formats. Some of the common supported file formats of Surfer include importing data as a CSV, a TXT, an XLS, or an XLSX files. Grid files can be imported in the formats of ADF, GRID, E00, DEM, and more. The file imports include a BLN, a JPEG, a PNG, and a DXF. Data can then be exported in the form of CSV, Excel file, a text file. And the maps can be exported as either a 3D shape, a 3D DXF, a 3D text, or 2D KML, which can then be used in Google Earth, or a DXF or PDF, including a vector raster and a geo PDF. The full list of supported file formats can be found online. The next software we're going to discuss is Graffer. Graffer specializes in 2D and 3D visualization of XY and XYZ data. Some of the basic plot types in Graffer include in both two and three dimensional line scatter plot, function plot, parametric function plots, bubble plots, class plots, step plots, and ribbon plots. The graph on the left is a 3D bubble plot, which is displaying four variables on the scatter type plot. The dimension of each bubble can vary in size and portion and position depending on the data. Graffer has six different bar charts that can be represented in two dimension and three dimension. These graph types will display data in boxes, cones, spindles, diamonds, or images. There are many customizable features, including horizontal and vertical display. The polar plots in Graffer will display data on polar coordinates using degrees, radians, or grad data versus a radial distance. The polar plots may display a mathematical function, line scatter data, bars, and scatter plots. The specialty graphs in Graffer include high-low class plot, close plots, vector plots, stiff plots, and ternary plots. The ternary plot on the left is displaying relative percentages on three variable systems. The statistical plots in Graffer include histograms, whisker plots, pie charts, and QQ plots. Both histogram and pie charts can be displayed in 2D or 3D. Like most plots, these can be combined with another graph type to display an area of importance. Similar to Surfer, Graffer has the ability to create a contour and a surface map. These maps can be created from a data file or a grid file. The data in Graffer is gridded using an inverse distance algorithm. Another main feature of Graffer are fit curves. The fit curves are predicted functions that can be added to a graph to compare behavior of the plot. The fit curves include linear, exponential, spline smoothing, polynomial, weighted average, log power, through origin, orthogonal polynomial, and running average. You are also able to define your own function if desired. The fit curves can be added to line scatter plots, step plots, polar plots, and histograms. Graffer allows for a lot of options to create unique and fully customizable graphs. This includes four axis types to best represent all of your data. In addition, error bars can be added to plots to display additional statistical information such as average value, sample and population, standard deviation, and standard error of mean. Graffer also has a built-in worksheet that allows you to manipulate and create worksheets directly. This will remove the hassle of switching between programs. In the worksheet, the data can be transformed, transposed, and even used in statistical calculations. Graffer also has the ability to get ran through automation. This is useful when wanting to simplify repetitive tasks. To get you started, Graffer has a script reporter that will allow you to run through actions in the interface and have the script automatically generated. Graffer also supports, also supports a variety of data formats. For example, you can import Excel files, DAT files, DEM files, grid files, DXF, and shape files. Once finished, the file can be exported to a DAT, a BNA, an Excel, a DXF, a shape, or other file format. The complete list can be found online. 
The next program I'm going to cover is Voxer. Voxer specializes in 3D data visualization. Voxer can handle XYZC data, where XYZ is the lo location and C is the component value measured at that location. The XYZC data can be interpolated in Voxer using one of the three gridding methods, inverse distance, local polynomial, and data metrics. In addition, volume calculations can be interpolated of the interpolated 3D model can be calculated and the variety of light options allow for complete visualization control. Even though Voxer is a standalone program, it has a lot of cross compatibility with other Golden Software products. For example, surfer grid files can be imported into Voxer to display the data the grid in 3D. This can be useful to display a surface and then display the data points such as well trajectories below the surface. Additionally, Voxer can be used with our Stratter software. Stratter has a direct feature to export cross sections and well data directly into Voxer. To best look, see the functionality, we're going to look at a few examples. This image represents surfaces and well data imported into Voxer. The surface, surfaces are surfer grid files and then to allow for complete visualization, the well data was imported to show the well path and trajectory. Voxler can be used to represent vast amounts of data and information, such as environmental concerns. This image shows interpolated contamination values of XYZ seed data in purple overlaying the well paths, which are represented in white. Multiple modules can be used in a single image to represent the complexity of an area. This image contains a contour map, a scatter plot, and a height field displaying the surface. Take your 3D data to a whole new level and show all of the areas that are represented. Individual layers can be turned on and off so that you can display everything at once or only focus on a particular area of interest. In addition, the opacity and transparency settings allow the user full control of what is being displayed. Voxler can be used to show the true height and depth of a surface. Show your clients the actual 3D scale of a grid by combining both Surfer and Voxler to create a meaningful image. Seismic data can also be imported into Voxler to display individual slices. In addition, the data can be extracted to complete a combined point cloud, which can then be interpolated. Voxer supports data to be imported in the file formats including CSV, DAT, DXF, DEGY, JPEG, and GRID. Data can be exported to a CSV DAP or similar file formats such as a JPEG, PNG, or TIFF. The complete list of supported file formats can be found online. Tinder is a golden software pro program that specializes in digitizing, georeferencing, and coordinate conversion. Digger's main functionality includes georeferencing an image, digitizing points, lines, and polygons from an imported map, and coordinate conversion. The imported files may include oil and gas logs, graphs, or images. Digger also has the ability to export directly to Surfer as the base map. Digger can georeference an image from at least three known points. The points do not have to be corner points, but can be located anywhere in the file. When importing an image, it is possible to assign a coordinate system to the image to have it spatially referenced. You can also download online maps from any WMS server. We also, there are some predefined ones, and then you can also add any WMS server into this dialog. Digger also has the ability to vectorize a map. This can be useful when importing a hand-drawn or scanned image. It can pick out all the shapes of the same color and create corresponding lines. Digger has many supported file formats, including spatially referenced files, 3D DXF files, PDFs, and can export to KML or KNZ files for Google Earth. The complete list can be found online. The next Golden Software program that I'm going to cover is Mapier. Mapier is primarily used for thematic mapping. MapViewer has 15 different map types that allow for data to be visualized linked to areas, curves, or points on a map. This will allow for the data distribution to be viewed. MapViewer includes a variety of boundary files to be used in mapping. However, there are plenty more available online 
or it's flexible enough that you can create your own. Other customizable options include adding a legend, displaying scale bars, adding a graphic field, and creating map colors. Some of the 15 map types include bar maps, cartograms, contour map, density map, gradient map, hatch map, pin map, prism map, territory map, and event map. Each of these maps are displaying a specific characteristic of the data as it is related to a boundary file. The contour maps generated in Map Viewer can be limited to the area of a boundary file. In addition, contours are generated for each area instead of a specific XY range with uniform spacing. The hatch map uses the color, colors or patterns to display a distribution of different classes of data. The classes can be automatically defined in Navier or user defined. A pin map can then be added to plot certain attributes at a specific location. The density map below is overlaying a hatch map. The density map uses symbols to represent a set of number of data points. The number of symbols corresponds to the amount of data in the area. The areas with lots of red symbols in this map indicate areas with high birth rate. Map Viewer can also be used to edit and create boundaries. This allows the users to have complete control over the boundaries used and represented in each of their maps. Some of the boundary editing tools include combining islands and lakes, smoothing boundaries, reshaping, and connecting curves. Map Viewer can import files including a BLN, a BNA, a DXF, an E00, a GSM, a JPEG, a SHIFT, and many more. In addition, Map Viewer can export files to BNA, a, a BLN, a GeoReference tip, TIFF, and HTML. Again, a complete list can be found online. The final goal of the software program I'm going to discuss is Chatter. Chatter specializes in well log, borehole, and cross-section plotting. Strata has the ability to create customizable, single, and multiple borehole view logs. There are 14 different types of logs that can be added to display your data exactly as desired. For an example of each log, these are the 14 different types of logs that can be added in Strata. The depth log, the depth log can be used to display depths specified in a data table. A complex text log can be used to display text at specific values. And then you can also add a lithology log to display lithology along the well depths. Each of these logs can be added anywhere you would like to display them. Strader uses a different data layout than the other Golden Software products. Strader has eight different base table types that accept data about well logs and information along each. The lithology table to the right displays the lithology of two different wells at different variables. If this is the type of data you're collecting, Strata is the right program for you. Strata can also be used to create a single log that shows multiple boreholes. The boreholes can be combined into single base tables so that the data is condensed and organized. Strata is also used to create cross-sections of multiple wells. A cross-section will automatically connect layers, logs, or lithology information to draw layers across a page. The layers can be manually edited and reshaped once they have been drawn so that you can create a cross-section with the desired view. This image shows a cross-section from two different wells with a deviation. You won't have to recreate your file each time with Shatter since it allows you to use templates. The templates will store your view window, scheme, and table layouts so all you have to do is import the new data files and have the data represented your way. In addition, you can add a legend, map view, or rearrange the data, the, data, the display panes for a unique log that fits your needs. Shredder can create cross-sections from line symbol logs. A multiple borehole log can be used to display, used to compare different boreholes. You can use Strata to create a well cross, a well construction log to visually represent the well. The Strata 4 supported file formats include CSV, XLS, XLSX, LAS, text, DXF, and more. The complete file format is available online. In addition, 
While you're choosing which programs will best fit your needs, we have several resources available to help. Each program contains a set of tutorials that are designed to help get you familiar with the basic layout and features. Then, some of the online resources avail are available at goldensoftware.com include knowledge based articles, interactive forms, free scripts and boundary files, training videos, and a weekly tech tip video. As for the next step, I'd recommend downloading one of the demos online. The demos are fully functioning except the save, copy, print, and export commands have been disabled. Demos allow you to import your data and test out the features. Each demo also includes a set of sample files that will display some of the maps and images that are created using the software. Does anyone have any questions about any of the Golden Software products? Our first question is, is it possible for Surfer, Graffer, Voxler, and Digger to be combined into one package? Well, all of the Golden Software programs are standalone programs and they are going to be purchased individually. However, I will add your request to bundle them up. Any other questions? All right, well that concludes the Which Product Do I Need webinar. Thank you very much for joining us. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me directly at cassie at goldensoftware.com or call 303-279-1021. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day.